Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome to Amori. I have kept myself in the dark about this game for a while. I have really tried my hardest not to look into what this game could be about. I do know that it gets into some really deep and dark and pretty scary topics here and there, but I really wanted to go into this one blind, as blind as I could, and experience what is so great about this, because there's there's like a cult following behind this game, and I want to know what is so great about it. I've never played a game like this before. Uh, well, I've played some, I've played some games that can psychologically mess with you and scare you in that way, but I've never played games like Earthbound or anything of the such uh, that this game kind of takes parts from or references from or ideas from. I've never played those, so. In a lot of ways, this is going to be a first time experience for me with this type of gameplay. And again, I have no idea what to expect. This could be a game that I can fall in love with, gameplay and story wise, one or the other or none at all. But either way, I think it's worth jumping in and seeing what exactly Amori is all about. So we will do just that. We will we will truly just jump in here. And I didn't really mess with the sound settings all that much, so... If things are a little loud... We can... We can change things a little later. So everything is going to be okay. Don't we all get told that a lot? No matter what happens... Promise me that we'll always be there for each other. I can't make no promises. I can't even promise to do, like, the most basic of tasks. I can't- I can't make a promise like that to another person. I'll just hurt them. I feel like I'm- I'm gonna be really, uh, scared. And psychologically pushed to an edge here and there. If I stick with this game, and I'm excited for it. Ah, yes, the white space. Really all you need is light, a computer, and tissues. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Yeah? Alright. Whoa. Alright. This is how graphics are made. Just line by line, we'll get there. The white background here is really showing how dirty my monitor is, so that's that's also helpful. Oh man, this is smooth. Alright, I dig it. I don't know if I should play with an... I, I don't know. Usually with games like these, again, never played Earthbound, but like... Tile-based games, I guess is what they're called. I use directional buttons. Oh. Muo? That's... That's the cat's name. It's just switching the last two letters around. Waiting for something to happen? Am I? A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Or other things. You booted up your laptop. Oh, nice. What would you like to do? Stare at screen, open your journal, or log off? Let's open the journal. Oh. Today I spent time in white space. Everything was okay. Oh, wait. That's, uh, that's most recent, and then there's some other ones that are saying that today I visited my friends, everything was okay. So everything was kind of just okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's stare at the screen for a little bit. Okay, well, I guess that's all we could do. The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. Isn't that, like, dangerous if you, like, let that happen a lot? Your sketchbook. Take a look inside? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... That's great. That's great. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, I, I too, sometimes draw specific things like that. Ideologies and whatnot. Oh, this is even better, all of a sudden. We're bringing cats into the picture now. Oh, we're, we're getting really, uh... We're getting into isometric space now. Perfect. I, I don't even know what to really take from all of this. Or this. 
But it seems we like cats. We do like snakes. I think that's a jellyfish over there. That is a slide. That is... It could be a cross or it could be hopscotch. I mean, either way. And a cake that's oozing out eyes? I don't know why I'm, like, trying to look into these too much here. It's probably not healthy or safe to do that. What is that? Oh, he didn't- he didn't fill up the journal. There's so much more things to draw. We have so much more pages. That's not good. Something fell nearby. Well, where? <laughs> There's not, like, a whole lot of, like, places to check for things that may have fallen. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Wherever it is. Look into the light bulb? Uh... Yeah? Ah, yes. It's pitch black inside. Is the light bulb even being used right? Well, yeah, it has to be. I mean, it's... It's got the little animation showing that there's, like, a shine coming off of the light bulb. You can't see a thing. It is just kind of backwards because we're in white space instead of a darker space, so light isn't noticeably illuminating. So something fell. Wh where? How far can I go into the white space? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's my quick and easy teleportation back. A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Well, I guess nothing. You stared at the door. What fell? I, I don't even know where to look for things that fell in this big open white space of potential, but also not... Oh. You got a shiny knife. Ah. I mean, as long as I can use the knife and it can't be used against me, then fantastic. Totally on board with that. Um, I'm, pr I'm trying to press buttons for like... Oh, okay. Alright, well, there's us. Fancy and all. Can I equip? Yeah, I can equip the knife. Unless I already have. Or maybe I can't. Oh, you know what? It's already set up. Okay. Weapon and then charm. We don't- we just don't have a charm. So I guess it auto-equipped our knife. A shiny new knife. You can see your reflection in the blade. Ah, huh, it is pretty shiny then. We have skills. What do we have? We have sad poem and guard. And flicks sad on a friend or foe. I am a big fan of turn-based games. I don't know when exactly I became a fan of turn-based games, but... They are fun. They, they are definitely a good time. Oh. Here's our line. Oh. Okay. I guess that's how that all works. Cat doesn't want to say anything to me. Anything else going on the laptop here? I don't think so. There, there was a noise that was made somewhere. I don't know where the noise was made. Did, okay, so we obviously came from the top because that's also the bottom. And we went to the left, but then we went up to the hand that helped us get back to where we were. So does it loop around this way? I'm sure we'll find something if we just keep on trekking in some sort of direction. There's another hand. Uh-oh. 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 No, 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 no. Don't touch me. There's actually a lot of fucking hands. Yeah, okay, so it is looping. Because if I go down here, then, well, look where we're at. The hands will just help us get back to where we were. Maybe I can look at the sketchbook again, and maybe... Maybe it'll give us a clue as to what's going on. Or maybe fucking not. Oh, we can open the door now. Alright, I'm totally cool with that. I don't know what I did to trigger that process. Thank god I'm not looking at bright- or I'm not going to be looking at bright white. Or maybe I will. Well, I guess we're looking at a bunch of bright other or colors. And we're being introduced to, to some characters here. Aubrey. Hi, Amori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Oh. Whoops. Never mind. 
Aw oh, man, what the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards. I was winning too. Hey there, Kel. No, there's no need to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that, hero. You only say that because you were losing. He isn't denying it. Oh, okay, we can move. I was like, wait, what's going on? What's going on around here, huh? There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. Okay, that sounds oddly familiar. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. That's pretty normal. Oh, okay. I guess we got a stuffed toy. Is that a charm? Is that does that work as a charm? No. Okay. Well, I guess I guess we just have that now. For whatever reason. Okay. Uh, why is there a face over here? Why is there a cat? Where are we? A fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. That's normal. A photo of someone familiar. Would you like to make toast? Now nah, hold off for now. A neatly wrapped present. A blunder. I, I love how specific this game will just be. Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know, the other day, that good-for-nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Amori? Pretty please. Well, uh, I got good news for you. Is that? Could it be? Aubrey snatched the stuffed toy from you. Hey, Kel. Look, it's my stuffed toy. What the heck? Where did you get that? Amori found it. Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Kel. You should know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. She was the one who was making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? Hmm. Aubrey. Fine. Okay. Now what? Do we just leave? Can we talk about whatever this thing is? Oh, it's a snake. Waiting for something to happen? Yeah, kinda. A cat-shaped hole. Let's go inside. Thank you, Amori. I knew I can count on you. You're the best. Man, Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hey, Amori, I'm glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Mari and Basil invited us for a picnic at the playground. Did you want to go see them? Yeah, fuck it. Alright, everyone. Let's go see Mari and Basil. Oh, nice. I got my my party mates with me now. <laughs> hey, speaking of Mari, uh, that is... Oh, okay. Going out? Here's your allowance for today. I'm glad my snake, or this snake, is, is the one that gives me my allowance. 50 clams. Uh, my friend Mari is the one who made the little, uh... I, I guess, uh, version of my character here on YouTube. Uh, in the Amori style. So thank you to my friend Mari. If you guys are interested in whatever she does for art and whatnot, there is a link in the description. You should go check her out. Oh yeah, fresh air at last. Why were we underground? Why did we emerge from a tree actually? There, there's a lot to take in. Where were we even? Psychedelics, man. You, you gotta love it. And you gotta love that nature. Well, let's go. Are we missing some? Yeah, <laughs> wait a minute. Help me up, guys. I'm stuck. Only if you say please. Kel, stop messing around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. So it seems like Hero is the one with sound mind, if not Amori. And Aubrey and Kel are kind of just rowdy and, and whatnot. Took you long enough. Those are my first impressions. Well, sorry, princess. All right, we got the we got the squad going again. As much as I really just want to look around, I think we're just supposed to go south here. I think I'm just gonna go in the right direction. What the fuck is that? 
What is this place? Actually, now that you mention it, I had a playground that looked exactly like this. With monsters and all. And a sky with, uh... All of that. I guess those are our friends. Mari, Basil! Am I saying that name right? If I'm not, please yell at me, by all means. Oh, hello, Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Cal's being mean to me again. Oh, no. Not again. How could he? Pfft. I'm not being mean. Aubrey's being, or just being all whiny. Well, Kel, you've just made a very convincing point. Now, I don't know who to believe. Believe me. No, believe me. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're definitely just at each other's throats for whatever reason. But I guess when you have, like, similar personalities, I guess that's possible. <sighs> Settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Chin up, hero. Look at you being all responsible. I really like that about you. Hee <laughs> hee. That was a smug-ass face. Come on, Mari. Not now. Oh, Hero, you know, I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. While we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through this, uh, or through his photo album. Did you want to join us? Of course. After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, Basil, get a load of this! Come on, Basil, take a picture of me. Sorry, Kel, I only take photos of people when they least expect it. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera, right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like, we just have to pretend you're not there? Haha. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Did you want to show us your photo album now, Basil? Oh, okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Here. This way we can all see. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, oh, we can actually read. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Amori and Kel are holding Mari's example. So pretty. That shit's cute. Amori and Kel gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it real fast. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting it. You have to admire his persistence. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Maybe someone should tell her. Kel drinking a bottle of milk, uh, it's his favorite. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Mari and Hiro take a picture of us. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. I mean, why not? Oh, what's going on here? Hiro leaning in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ha, ah, brotherly love, is that what it's called? Or is it just homies being homies? We're having a picnic today. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. Oh, you can actually like zoom in and view the photos. I did not even realize that. I've been doing this process completely wrong. And then you can actually read it. I'm sorry, I've, I've been going about this wrong. All right, so that's the smooch. What the fuck is going on with that with that grapefruit? Is that that's not a grapefruit? What is that? That is a fruit of some sort. That's the that's the that's the dick emoji. We're having a picnic today. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. Oh damn! Everyone is just pooped out. Even even Amori. After eating, everyone fell asleep except Hiro and Mari. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. 
Kel said he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. Is that Kel? I don't know who's who. Everyone looks so, uh, similar. All of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? Uh... T maybe? Okay, wow, I, I, I wonder who's wearing socks. Hmm. I guess that's, uh, everything, right? Yeah, there's no, like, page beyond this one. Well, that was fun. These photos are also charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Mari likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come hang out at my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Let's go. It's south of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. Hmm. I think I'll set this one out. You all go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you're ever feeling weary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save using my picnic basket. Ah, oh, thanks, Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari. We'll see you again soon. Run along and have fun now. You know where to find me. So I guess she just has a bunch of picnics set up everywhere? That's just how that's working? Okay, and this is how we save our game. We have six files. So I can really screw the pooch and we'll be okay. Alright, uh, yeah, let's see what's going on, going on around here in the, uh, playground. I'm going to swing to the moon. Oh, it's- it's Michael, it's me. Just with a much different spelling. What's going on here? Hey, Amori, guess what? I got some plans today, big plans. Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Um... Yeah, I- I- I don't want to just sit here, so I'm going to go do other things. Burly talks so fast when she's excited. It gets really hard to keep up. Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. Oh shit, that's Zach from Oni Plays. Hey, wait just a second. Where do y'all think you're going? I'm not going to sit there and wait for you. You can't just leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You want to play hide and seek again. But you know how this turned out last time. Yeah. Sorry, Burly. I think we're going to have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now. So we'll catch up with you later. Not so fast. You guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as boss. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. Is, <laughs> is, is Burly just looking around? Making sure that uh, whoever boss is isn't here? I wonder what that moron is up to now. Huh. Good riddance. So... You want to play hide and seek, Basil? I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you want to do? Amori, Amori, my best friend. Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? Yeah. That's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. Ten hut. Wow, we, the, the whole playground is playing. Alright, maggots, here's the rules. We're going to be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide-and-seek. Here in my hands, I've got some, some straws, see? Everyone here's got to pick a straw. The one with the shortest straw is going to be it. And we'll have to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? Really got to go through the whole process here, huh? 
I'm going to assume that we have the shortest straw. We all got our straws? Good. Now let's see who's gonna be it. Well, well, well. Looks like the one with the shortest straw is... Amori, of, yeah, of course. Oh wait, Amori is it? But Amori doesn't like to be alone. Are you gonna be okay, Amori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Yeah, I hear you plotting over there. The straws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies, it ain't so bad. Amori will be fine. When you're ready to play, walk up to the tetherball pole and close your eyes. And no peeking or else. Okay, I guess... I guess we gotta fucking do this. What's this? Oh, I... I I guess I can't just run away. I just want to look around, like, really bad. Michael is feeling sleepy. Wanted to talk to Nose. Nose goes. Yeah, I guess so. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Oh, wow, what, what a tough time. Whoa, you found me. Now I can help you find everyone. Just don't tell Burly about this, got it? <laughs> yeah, I can tell you didn't really try there. Turns out, there's not many places to hide here for a guy my size. But this was still fun. As long as Burly is happy, I'm happy. Uh, hmm. Darn, you found me. I guess that means I lose. You know what Happy would say right now? She'd say something like, Bangs, you should always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. Uh, this looks a little different. Boing, it's me, Happy. You found me, so that means I gotta do something else now. Oh, I know, I'm gonna count the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, O, M, uh, O. Yeah, you have fun with that. Huh? Where am I? Uh, I was dreaming that I was on a private beach with servants fanning me with the palm, or with palm trees, palm tree leaves on every side, excuse me. When suddenly, wham! And now, here I am. I must have fallen asleep while hiding. I guess that's game over for me. What's going on over here, buddy? Ah! Okay. Uh, here's one of our friends. It's Aubrey. You found me. Darn. Haha. <laughs> Let's go find everyone else together, Amori. Uh, well, there's more people just... Oh, wait. These are everybody that we found. Okay. Nose goes. Shh. If you're loud or if you're too loud, they'll hear us. Nose goes. Bun goes. Ah, uh, be quiet, Nose. We're hiding, remember? Yeah, you're, you're definitely hiding. Aha! We found you, Bun and Nose. Nose, they found us. Nose goes. Oh, you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. I'm glad there's a character that looks like Zack here. Like, it's, you know, a pretty simple resemblance. What's going on down here? Oh, hey, guys. You know, I found a really good hiding spot, but Sean and Ren invited me to join them in their exercise routine. It's fun and good for you. You guys should really try this. It's, uh, really a workout. Oh, man, I'm so tired. Wow, you really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, hero? Come on, hero. We gotta help Amori find everyone else. All right, all right. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This was fun. Yeah, let's do this again sometime. See you later, hero. All right, well, we almost have our entire squad together. The Eternal Banana. Ah. That was simple enough. D did I walk over that? Yeah, it makes a little noise when you walk over the little egg. That's cool. Don't know why that's there, but it is. 
Um, we don't have everybody yet. Where have we not looked? This obviously isn't like the biggest location. I might have to... What's going on down here? Deb and Daisy. Or Neb and Daisy, excuse me. You probably shouldn't disturb this. Yeah, this is this is something totally different. A suspicious blue mailbox. Yeah, with a welcome mat. Interesting. Anything over here? Nope. I'm sure there's somebody that's also just in plain sight still that I have not figured out. There's a straw on the ground. Pull it out. Yep. Took you guys long enough. I thought I was going to suffocate in there. How'd you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, huh? It actually was pretty solid. It looks like you pretty much found everyone else too. Unexpected. But I like it. Let's do a final roll call. Is this everybody? Ten Hut? Van. Here as always, buddy. Charlene. Here. Michael. Oh wait, one of our one of our party members is not here. Now, oh, what gives? Happy. Here, here. Browse. And they're screaming. And running. Bangs. Here. Bun. Bun is here. Nose. Nose goes. Hero. Present. Kel. He's <laughs> straight up yawning. You really gotta do this every time, Burly. Holy shit. That was uncalled for- Aubrey. Here I am. Oh, we're missing, uh, yeah, Basil. That's strange. I thought I saw him go hiding near that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil, you can come out now. You already won. Hello, Basil. Where'd they go? Oh. Hey, there's Basil. Basil, are you okay? Are... are you stuck? Uh. Oh. It's, uh... It's the character that was brought up earlier. Boss, I should have known it was you. You good-for-nothing scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil is our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. You stupid heads. Oh, shit. You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek. I'm the one who showed you all how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? My flower crown! Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil. How could you? Let go of him, you bully. No. If I can't play with everyone, then no one can. This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited. Oh yes, it's our first fight. Oh, I'm so excited. This shit looks really overwhelming. All right, uh, we can use attack or skill or toy. We have no toys. And I guess snack is item. Skill is a sad poem. So we can, we can inflict sad on him. Actually, no, we can only inflict sad on ourselves. Oh, unless I switch sides. Okay, that works. Did I, did I do it? Pep talk, make a, oh, okay, I'm on a, uh, okay, I'm on Aubrey now, okay. I guess now we can just attack, because I'm going to make him sad. He deserves to be sad, absolutely. Annoy, makes a friend or foe angry. I don't understand what the process is of making somebody angry or happy or whatever. I mean... It might have some impact, but I, I don't I don't know enough for this, so. And hero, what can you do? You can cook. Heals a friend for 75%. Okay. 
I, I, I know, I know what this does. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So now he's sad. Oh wow, you lose your your juice as well as your health. You weaklings. You call that an attack? Holy shit, he did some damage there. Alright, so, I mean, can we make him even more sad? I think he deserves it, to be totally honest. And, I don't know, would pep talk actually, like, benefit us? Yeah, I'll, I'll put that on Aubrey, and then I guess we'll just put in a couple more attacks. Yeah, he, oh, he can't get it sadder, okay. Alright, so Aubrey cheered herself up. Uh-oh. Boss cracked his knuckles. Now now we're really in for it here. Um, fuck. I guess we can just attack and see what happens. I'm looking forward to whenever Aubrey attacks here. It was a dull attack, huh? Maybe we need to be angry? That kind of hurt. Hmm. This isn't fun anymore. Jesus. Oh my god. Everyone's getting hit. But I think we're still okay. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what the... What do you get out of making somebody happier or sadder or anything like that? Or angrier? I, I don't understand that process. I don't know if it's going to be explained to us or if I just have to figure it out for myself. Not really sure, but apparently now Aubrey's attacks are dull because she's happy? I'm I'm not really sure about that one. I don't know. Make a friend or foe angry? I don't know. Could we, uh... Maybe annoy one of our friends here so that they hit harder, maybe? Honestly, I'm just I'm just trying different things in, in hopes of uh, seeing if anything else changes. Oh shit. Okay. Maybe okay, maybe making somebody angrier helped in this case. Now you've made me angry. Okay, now they're angry. Special move. Body slam. Uh oh, we're gonna die. Yep, okay. Oh shit. Are we all dead? We're practically all dead. Amori did not succumb. Wait, everybody turned into toast. Why did they turn into toast? Huh? How are you still moving? Well, if I don't do something here... Yeah, okay, it's just the last attack. Amori's party was victorious. Oh, they're toast because, like, you know, whenever whenever you start a fight against somebody, you say, you're toast. You know, they, well, they really were toast. We got 32 XP and we stole his money. Let's go. This isn't fair. Rematch. I want a rematch. All right. Basil, are you hurt? Ah, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Huh. I know that. There. Does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Amori held on during that final attack, or else we would have all been toast. <laughs> See, get it? It's okay, I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Hmm. <laughs> That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. Alright. See ya. Well, he probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. 
I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. That sounds good to me. Yeah, we got massively sidetracked here, didn't we? We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, we, we most definitely got, like, massively sidetracked there. Okay, but, um, I think with that, uh, is the entire party, like... Okay, no, okay, we're not dead, but... Amor is the only one that got any XP out of that there. You know, for obvious reasons, he was the only one alive. How are you all doing? Just the other day, Nose was telling me about a cute little leaf she met. But... When she tried to be its friend, all it wanted to talk about was how much it hated bunnies. How could someone hate bunnies? I just don't understand some people. Well, that's right, we're supposed to go over here and save here at the picnic basket. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll save it up here and... You know, 40 minutes in, I obviously can't make too much of an opinion of what we've gone through here, but... Uh, I mean, so far this has been... Interesting, you know? Very different. And it's going to take quite a few more episodes, I think, to really gauge more of an opinion on this. I need to learn more of the combat, and hopefully the game maybe teaches me what the statuses will do for us, whether it hinders or benefits us. I think it helped us whenever we made, I think it was Kel or Hero if we made them angry. I think it was Kel that made Hero angry. And it actually kind of helped. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's a, a good explanation for what the statuses of people's emotions do for combat. And we'll just, uh, we'll figure it out. But thank you all for coming by the first episode here. If you all enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. If you're interested in watching more of this, by all means, subscribe. So you're ready and you'll be able to tune in as soon as another episode goes up. Uh, this was a uh, an interesting first look into Amori, and I'm excited to continue it. So, again, by all means, subscribe, like, all that if you want to tune in for another one, and I will see you all in the next part. Take it easy, guys.